I should probably start moving. This is starting to get dangerous. Oh, hey, some haste. I like haste. I did not mean to jump down. Can I do that while I'm in the air? Yeah. Nice. Thanks for that. Definitely running low on ammo now. I was messing around too much. I like the music around here. What the hell is that about? Hmm. Interesting. I could definitely use that. Alright, anyway, let's see what's going on around here. Just a way up, I guess. Why, hello there. I can't use you right now, but... Nice to know that you're there if I ever come back for you. Hello, where'd you go? Did I piss you off? Oh, fuck you. Something else alive? Oh. There is indeed something else alive. That did not work out. Watch it. Uh, how did I switch to that? I must have ran out. Oh well, you know what? I don't have to run out. Never run out, never surrender. Oh, hello. You're just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that's not what I want. I want to see what's going on around here. Pretty much nothing. Not a fan of the fact that I'm kind of low on that. If I find something more to chainsaw, I may very well just do that. Just to grab some extra. Something's coming. Oh, you guys. Alright, cool it, cool it, cool it. I don't want to be here. I 
also don't want to use this just in case I want it for something else. Aw, oh, I can't even go back. Alright, well, whatever. That is a Baron of Hell. I think perhaps uh, I'm going to need to use some stuff. Whoa, there's another one. <laughs> Holy crap. Had to be done. There was no way I was making it over there. No way at all. What the fuck is that? What the? What the fuck? What the hell is that? Okay. Sure. Uh, that's definitely not what I expected to uh, happen when I shot that. I was just like, that's weird up there. I'm going to shoot it. Okay, whatever. Something about the uh, Gauss Cannon by doing that. I guess that was the secret that we were missing. This looks like possibly we're getting ready for something big. Oh yeah. I would say so. Is that it? I want more! My Gauss Cannon's not full at all. Well, there's a little. Okay, I'm betting that this means that there's about to be a uh, major boss battle. What the hell are these things? Some kind of worms. Skulls on the ceiling, huh? Okie dokie, what's this about? Must be the well or something. Oh, that's the crucible. Figured out what the worms are. They like go inside of there and control that stuff? Does that mean there's gonna be like three of these things? Shit. Um, okay. I'm guessing that's some kind of shield. Watch out. Definitely a shield. Come on, bring it down. Bring it down. Let's go, bitch. You got nothing on me. Come on. I'll take that stuff. that about? Ouch! I think I was doing better with a shotgun, honestly. The hell? Holy shit! Jesus! Ow. So 
almost dead. I think I got you. That's mine now. How you doing? Why, thank you. Another one? Hellgards. Oh, great, two of them. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Let's go read about Hellgards before we get destroyed by them. Alright, Hellgards. The borderlands between Titan's realms and the Great Steppe is home to one of the most ferocious demons yet found. The Biomech Hellguard. While there has been no direct human contact with this beast, except for me, it was discovered by scout bots. During the second Project Lazarus tethering operation, MTC-214716, confronting this demon signaled the end of the expedition, but the scout bots did manage to send data to the relay beacons before they were destroyed. A detailed study of the few video frames that were captured before the equipment was destroyed revealed that the Hellguard is actually a parasite housed within a bone and keratin exoskeleton. The parasite, imbued with enormous quantities of hell energy, provides power to the Hellguard and controls its actions entirely. Before entering the exoskeleton, the Hellguard exoskeleton is a lifeless husk. Attempts to retrieve the parasite alone have proved fruitless, as the uncoupled demon is too weak to survive passage between dimensions. Once coupled, however, the demon presents a daunting and relentless enemy. So, I wonder if two of them would be something that I would want to use the uh, Gauss Cannon on, because I might be able to shoot through one into the other if I could get my shots proper. Yeah, probably not. These guys are fast. Whoa! Whoa, watch it! for the ammo and stuff, but... Wow, did I just get both of them? Nice. Oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, watch it. Crap. I missed my chance there. Stay away, you little shit. Watch it. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, well, that's one of them. Whoa! You guys were way easier than your predecessor. Hey there, little buddy. Come on out of there. <laughs> pull you apart. Definitely way easier than uh, their predecessor. <laughs> that was a very, very easy battle comparatively with the uh, Cyber Demon. That Cyber Demon was kicking my ass. Alright, Crucible, you are mine. Does this thing become like a big ass sword? Hi. You like Knights of the Round Table or something? They're like nodding at me. Hey guys. Uh-oh. Tether activation. Bye guys. I liked that battle for sure. It was definitely easier than uh, the previous boss battle, but it, it felt more um, rewarding.
I don't know. That's just how it felt to me. Anyways, we have reclaimed the crucible and are returning to Mars. We must close the well, the power source of hell portal on Mars, of the hell portal on Mars. To do this, uh, we have to uh, make one last hell jump. Samuel has a plan to send us back to the well's location. He will need our assistance to carry it out. I am Vega. All right. Yes, and I do. with it the means to contain the power of the well. We have a plan to send you there. Vega will walk you through the process. So it looks like they found one of the hell portal things like etched into stone and then they just chiseled it out and put it here. <laughs> I kind of like that idea that they just chiseled it out of a rock wall and they're like, we'll put some lights around it. It'll make it look cool. Whoa, that was like right on one of the uh, baubles. Looks like there is something to find here. For a second, I thought these were holes, but they're not. Okay, this area looks super familiar, almost like the uh, Doom 3 area where there's like two Hell Knights that come out after you. Just a little bit, it's not quite like that. There we are. Vega. Vega is powerful. Uh, powered. He's not powerful, he's just powered. By a mix of unrefined Argent Plasma taken directly from the Argent Fracture and UAC technology. While details regarding the development of Vega are closely guarded are a closely guarded secret, it is uh, rumored that Vega's core is powered by a piece of arcane technology found near the Argent Fracture. The behavior and calculating power of Vega is unprecedented in AI theory, and the system is, to some extent, self-taught. After the initial core software was uploaded, Vega began gathering data from all the UAC subsystems without oversight, and effectively took control of the Mars facility operations. Vega also proposed a more effective method for processing Argent Plasma into Argent Energy, devised better analysis theorems, and even designed new Argent Compression Schema allowing for the development of Argent Caches, and later the Argent Accumulator. Almost sounds like Vega might be the one controlling everything. I don't know. Environments. We have something more about Titan's Realm? Eh? I'm pretty sure we read everything about Titan's Realm. Aw, oh, we missed something about the Advanced Research Complex. That's disappointing. But we have something more about the Necropolis. Ah, uh, when the expedition of 2148 reached the Great Step, massive structures... Hey, that's not right. Uh, rest is important. No, this is, this is something we read already. I don't know why it's showing up as things that we haven't read, even though I'm quite certain we read those. Whatever. You look like you're having a bad day, buddy. Ooh. Aw, I don't need any of that. What was that? Oh, just these doors closing. I don't think there's anything else behind me, so it doesn't really matter. Do I, like, have fool on everything right now? Huh. I don't know how that happened. I guess uh, when I killed them, all that stuff that was coming out of them was enough to fill me up? This is my primary operating facility. Okay. It is where I was created, and where my core processing unit is maintained. It takes approximately 2.4 terawatts of power to sustain my operational capabilities, but it has been decided that we can use that power to send you to the source of the portal. I will not survive the procedure and am unable to self-terminate, so I will walk you through the process. 